Right then, hi right guys, today I'm going to do a little um, comparison video on the power of an air gun, which is, this air gun's pretty much shooting at 12 foot pounds, which is 12 foot pounds is the legal limit of an air gun you can have without having a firearm certificate. People often ask me the power of my catapults, and um, everything, there's lots of things that varies on it, the elastic, the size of the ball bearing, how far you pull the elastic back, all sorts of things, but I'm going to give you a rough comparison and um, we're going to weigh, weigh the different. Oh, there's a pellet here, we're going to weigh the pellet on a 2 2 pellet, see it in grains, it has to be in grains for the uh, calculations to work. I've got some 12 mil homemade lead balls and got some 9.5 mil steels. Gonna be shooting um, catapult. This catapult has got double 25 to 20 bands on it, which is quite a strong set of bands, but not as strong as some people would use. But for shooting 12 mil leads, you really need something to take the weight. So um, we'll be shooting them. I won't be shooting butterfly or anything like that. I'll just be pulling it back to where I would normally pull it back to give you sort of a not an indication of what's possible with these bands and balls but just a case of what what you're really shooting at normally without without really trying to pull it back and see what you can get so um i've no idea what the results are going to be i know this shit this air gun is shooting about 11 and a half foot pounds i think from what i remember but um we're going to crony it all we're going to do three shots with the air gun three shots with the 12 mil lead and three shots with the nine and a half mil steel. We'll see the last two through the catapult. We're going to get an average of those three shots, and then when we get the average velocity in feet per second, we'll do a, a calculation which is the average velocity times the average velocity times the weight of the ammo in grain, which we're going to find out in a minute with these scales, divided by 450240, and that will give you what it is putting out and the energy in feet pounds so quite interesting because I've no idea what the results are going to be apart from the gun I know it's shooting about 11 and a half foot pounds roughly but anyway the first thing to do will be to weigh in grains what the ammo is going to do then I'll write that down on here so I'll just um, zoom in on that a bit and we'll turn this on get that to set to naught right see it's in grains first one we're going to do is a 2-2 RWS Superdome let's see what that weighs right on that we've got 15 grain oh that's 14 and a half on the tin I'll just try another one 148 Let's try one more. Fourteen point six. So I'd say an average of that is probably about fourteen point seven. So we'll call that fourteen point seven and write that down. Right. Now the nine and a half steels. I'll see what one of those weighs. It's 55.6. Let's just draw another one. 55.6. Right, we'll go with that. 55.6 grains. Shut that down. 12 mil leads. This should stay on a bit better. 178, let's try another one, 183, 178, so I'd say an average of that is 180 grains. Right then, so now what we're going to do is put 
three shots through the air gun first, I think. So I'll do. Right, let's just zoom in on the crony. I'll just load this up first. Right then, let's zoom in on this crony. See that. Right, turn it on. Right, first shot. 585.9. Let's write that down. You see that on there? Yeah. Five eight five. Seven seven. It's probably starting to run out of air a bit now, but never mind. Right then, zoom out a bit. Just reset this. Right then, nine and a half mil steel. First shot. If I can get it over the crony to register. 250.3. Second one. Two four seven point six. Third one. Two four five point two. Turn that off, reset that again. Twelve mil lead. First one, these are gonna be quite a lot slower, obviously. Oh, error. Pass. 12 mil lead. Two hundred. Go. I'll run out of lead in a minute. Two hundred and eight point four. Not as sunny as I thought. Let's try this. Just reset it. Two thirteen point seven. There we go. Right. Two Right, hang on, let's get this back. So here's our figures. One, two and three on the air gun. Catapult with the nine and a half steels. And also the catamult, catapult with the 12 mil lead. What I'm going to do now is add these numbers up, these three here, and divide by three to get an average. And I'm going to do that with each of these and get back to you in a minute when I've done it. Right then guys, here's the averages, so the air gun average is 582.6, the catapult with the 9.5 steels, 247.7, and the 12mm lead catapult its average is 207.3. We've got the weights here, and now the calculation, I shall um, 
So the calculation is, you read it, the average velocity times the average velocity times the weight of ammo in grains divided by 450240 and that will give you the foot pounds. So I shall now do the calculations and get back to you in one sec. Right then, here's the results lads, so the air gun 11.08 foot pounds, catapult with 9.5 steels 7.57 foot pounds and the catapult with 12mm lead 17.18 foot pounds so that's quite a bit more the legal limit of an air gun. It could easily be pushed much higher than that with stronger bands or um, Bigger, bigger ball bearings. Let's just. Uh... Yeah, so uh, there you have it. I think um, so. It's quite interesting to see, especially the difference between the nine and a half steels and the twelve mil lead. The energy, the energy gained from shooting the lead is over double. Although it's shooting slower when it hits, it's putting out over double the energy of the nine and a half steel. Um, I think the difference is the obviously the velocity will drop off much quicker on the lead than it will the steel. But the steel, so the steel will um, be better for hunting from a further distance because you won't have that drop. The lead's going to drop short range it's going to really thump into something but for long range if you can hit something you'll stop it but you've obviously got that drop to contend with so um, yeah interesting results anyway so that's remember this was just shooting like normal pulling back to my place I'd pull back to on my face I wasn't trying to go for the maximum amount I could get maximum energy it's just just an average sort of thing really but so shooting with sort of quite quite heavy strong bands with 12mm lead which is obviously not a great lead ball a lot of people do still shoot with 16mm lead so that 12mm lead's big enough to sort of put out that sort of energy so I'm sure with 16mm lead balls and those sort of bands or slightly heavier bands would be even easily uh, exceeding 20 foot pounds without trying really so anyway hope you enjoyed it thanks very much Oh, 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 oh,